Sejil Development Development of the Sejil missile likely began in the late 1990s, but stems directly from development work of previous Iranian missiles, most notably the Zeltsil SRBM. Its use of solid propellant, in particular, is due to fuel technology advancement made in conjunction with the Zeltsil program during the 1990s, the development of which is believed to have been aided by China. Though the missile has a similar size, weight, and range to the Shahab-3 variants, its use of solid propellants is a major improvement on the Shahab design. Solid propellants allow for a faster launch times, leaving the missile much less vulnerable during launch. Because solid propellant missiles do not have to be fueled immediately prior to launch, they are more easily transported. On the other hand, solid propellant missiles have particular performance characteristics that make them more difficult to guide and control. How Iranian engineers have overcome these hurdles is unknown, but it seems likely that they have modified Shahab guidance systems and or received considerable foreign assistance. Specifications the Sejil missile has a length of 18 meters, a diameter of 1.25 meters, and an overall launch weight of 23,600 kilograms. It can deliver a payload of around 700 kilograms to its 2,000 kilometers range. Presumably the missile will carry HE warheads until Iran gains nuclear warheads. The missile's maximum range is about 2,000 kilometers, though these figures are based upon a missile fuselage with the weight and performance characteristics of aeronautical-grade steel. Service history. The first test launch occurred in 2008, and the missile reportedly flew 800 kilometers. A second launch was conducted in May 2009 to test improved guidance and navigation systems. Four other flight tests have occurred since 2009, with the sixth test flying approximately 1,900 kilometers into the Indian Ocean. The Sejil missile appears to be a unique Iranian design, Though some speculation has tied the missile to the Chinese DF-11 and DF-15, the size and specifications of the missile suggest that the Iranian missile is unique. Unlike earlier Iranian systems, the missile does not appear to be a copy of a previously released North Korean missile. Of course, it is highly likely that the missile project has made significant gains through foreign assistance. Because the design is new, Iran will probably have to subject it to a great deal of testing before putting the missile into regular operation. Assuming that the Sejil project moves at about the same speed as foreign missile development projects, Iran could not have declared the missile operational until at least 2012. However, this still has not formally occurred, despite putting the missile on public display during a parade alongside the Shahab-3 and Gadr 1.5 the missile has not been tested since 2012, leaving its deployment status uncertain. There may be multiple versions of the Sejil system. In 2009, Iran referred to the test launch as the Sejil 2. An unconfirmed report stated the Sejil 3 may be in development. The Sejil 3 would reportedly have three stages, a maximum range of 4,000 km, and a launch weight of 38,000 kg. After about a decade of inactivity, the Sejil resurfaced in 2021, when Iran launched it as part of the January Great Prophet 15 military exercises. Point seven new footage from this test suggests that Iran has incorporated upgraded guidance systems on the Sejil, including a ruggedized strap-down guidance system and new jet vanes adapted from the Gadra missile. Iran has successfully test-fired a long-range, improved Sejil-2 missile, state television reported on Wednesday, an announcement likely to add to tension with the West. Al-Alam, Iran's Arabic-language satellite television, said the Sejil missile had a longer range than the Shahab missile, which Iranian officials in the past have said can reach targets 2,000 kilometers, 1,250 miles, away. That would put Israel and U.S. bases in the Gulf within reach. The missile test coincides with increased tension over Iran's nuclear program, 
which the West fears is aimed at making bombs. Iran denies the charge. Neither Israel nor the United States have ruled out military action if diplomacy fails to resolve the row. Iran has vowed to retaliate for any attack.